Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA Certification Guides. Also the webmaster of scja.com. If you want to get WebSphere or Java certified, um, check out my website for some free mock certification exams. I also have pulpjava.com and technicalfacilitation.com, mcnz.com. And if you head over there, uh, please check out some of my free tutorials. Um, even visit a sponsor by uh, clicking on a Google ad or two to uh, help support the site. And it's always interesting to see what my sponsors are, are offering. Anyways, one of the things I wanted to do right now was actually demonstrate how the portlet session works. So I'm going to create a new portlet project called portlet session project portlet sessions <laughs> okay so we're going to create a new project called portlet sessions with a an empty portlet inside of it no web diagram click the next button and i'm actually going to call this particular portlet the simple A simple session portlet. And so there we go. Change all that. Change the options. Com dot com dot exams gam dot portlet. And simple session portlet is going to be the name. No special markups or anything like that. That's all good. Now we end up getting this particular empty portlet here. Notice the process action method. That corresponds to the action processing phase of a portlet. And really session management should be done in the in the action processing phase of a portlet. Um, for the sake of simplicity I'm going to do some stuff in the do view method. Um, but just bear in mind that yeah in the future you really want to be doing most of your session management and form handling in the action processing phase of a portlet. As I said, I'm just going to try and keep things simple. And part of keeping things simple is uh, actually just taking some of the code that I've already written and uh, pasting it, there we go, into um, this particular portlet. So um, this is just a way, for, I'm going to click Control S to save. This is a way for me to make sure all the code in my book actually compiles and uh, demonstrate how the portlet session works. So notice I've got a, a basic do view method in my simple session portlet. It's going to print out HTML to the client. We initialize a print writer named out. And we also get the session, portlet session session equals request.getPortletSession. Uh, we get the portlet session from the request object. Now the first time somebody comes to this portlet, we're going to see if they've got something inside of their session called times visited, a string inside their session stored with the name times visited. See that it's a string that we're pulling out of the session. Actually, we do that every time they come to the site. And we hold that times visited with a variable named visit count. Now, the first time a user comes to our site, we'll have never placed anything into their session because the session will be new. So the visit count will be null. If their visit count is null, well, what we do is we um, throw into the session session dot set attribute with the name times visited. Notice the name we use to put information into the session is the same as the name we use to pull information out of the session. That's get attribute. That's set attribute. And we're actually just going to create a string with a number one. It's just a cheap, easy way of creating a string. Empty brackets plus one. That just creates a string of the number one. And we actually say to our user, welcome to our little portlet. Click refresh, maximize, or navigate through the site, and you'll see things change. Of course, if the visit count is not equal to null, well, that will trigger the else block here. And what do we do in the else block? Well, we actually get the visit count, which is a number but held as a string. We use the integer.parse int method to convert it to an int, and then we add 1 to it. So if the number is 1, it then becomes 2. If it's 2, it then becomes 3. We hold that new number as the new count. This new count we put into the session. So we replace the current value that's in there as times visited with the new count. And then we display to the user, hey, number of times visiting this portlet is new count. So the first time they come to the site they'll just see this, welcome to our little portlet. The second time they'll see the result of this, our counting how many times they've been at our portlet. And that's it. Just a very, very simple portlet. Again, we're doing our session management inside of the doView method. We really should be doing session management during the action processing phase, but we'll factor that in just a little bit later. So I'm going to right click on my application here, say run and select run on server and wait to see this come up. 
And now, with our portlet running, we can actually see that it displays welcome to our little portlet. That's what happens when no one's actually viewed the portlet before. We can maximize. When we maximize, notice that we've now viewed this for the second time, so it says the views are two. We can click the Restore button. It takes the count to three. We can even click on other portlet projects. There's basic portlets. goes to four. Image display portlets. Go back. goes to five. We can click around quite a bit here. Now when it comes back, it goes to six. And so this number keeps incrementing. Now also notice what happens if we actually close the web browser. So if I close the browser and say run, run on server again, notice the actual portlet has been reset. So if you actually close a window, your session is going to be lost and you're going to have to start over again. So it's really only a, a transient variable that is managed and saved. Um, but it is effective and it is helpful for managing state for the user and it's just simply the portlet session pulling things out of the portlet session and putting things into the portlet session. And sort of that is the, the first iteration of this portlet session uh, portlet. Session portlet. Uh, one thing I do want to stress is that we did session management in the DoView method. We really should factor that into the action processing phase, which we will do a little bit later. Um, so if you get a chance, please head over to my website, mcnz.com. Check out, uh, uh, pick up a couple of copies of What is WebSphere? Charge them to your boss, to your big expense account. Um, and even if you get a chance, go to scga.com and maybe even take a look at some of my sponsors. Click on a Google ad or two. It helps support the site. Anyways, that's, a, that's about it for now. Last thing I have to say is happy WebSphere.